Good morning. 早上好 Do you know how to memorize Chinese words fast? If you ask me, my answer is going to be all the time is the same. That it's use the class、uh, classification memory. What's classification memory? It's like the you put similar words, ah,、uh, into a list and then make different lists. For example, like kitchen items, animals, and、uh, colors like that. Well, that's easier, right? Because it ah、uh, it will help you to memorize what you learned easily. Well, today's lesson, I'm not going to teach you ah、uh, all the words. At the same time, I'm going to teach you some basic words you need to know, ah,、uh, and also some rules here. Because sometimes in English you have this way to say this, but in Chinese we don't have that way to say that. So the basic culture about the the words you need to know. Okay. So first, I need you to know about the the name because many. Anyone, when you when you start to learn、uh, a new language, you always want to know your name. How ah、uh, how do you say my name in in Chinese? Or how do I say my name? How do I say my name in Spanish? Well, the name is very important, right? The name, and、uh, if your name is Paul, well, in Chinese is Bao Luo, Bao Luo. You will say why. Yeah, some people ask me why, because first of all, ah,、uh, in Chinese we always have the ah、uh, we always use all the Chinese characters. We don't use like the pinyin. Pinyin is just the pronunciation of the the characters. So basically, if you go to China, you cannot see the pinyin, ah,、uh, the pinyin anywhere. Basically, just Chinese characters, which means these two characters. It's the similar pronunciation like your name. That's Paul. So Paul, Paul. You will say, oh, they 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 are so different. So, well, yes, but it's similar. I say it's similar, and also, ah,、uh, these two characters they are decided by the dictionary. You cannot say, oh, my name is Paul, and I prefer that character. It's also Paul. I prefer like the another character like Paul, another Luo. Well, you cannot choose this because I said it's like the. Your name is decided. Paul, in Chinese, the character two characters is like this. Bao Luo, Bao Luo. Okay. So if you want to know your name, if if the comments, I will search the name for, uh, your name for you. <laughs> it's decided. I cannot decide, but dictionary decided. Okay. And the second second thing you need to know about the name. Uh, you know Chinese always we have to put the ah、uh, family family name in the beginning of the name, so like Li Ba 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 Wang something Zhang something that's the family name. So family name is always in the beginning of the name. Okay, that's why in English sometimes you say Professor Li, so you put the family name after the ah、uh, occupation, but in Chinese we we say. Li professor like that. For example, this, 教授教授教授 means the professor. So professor Li, we say Li 教授 It's like Li professor. Okay. And also in English, you have like a、uh, female or male. In Chinese, we also have that way to say. If it's a a male teacher, we say 男老师 <laughs> 男 is the male and the 老师 is the teacher, and female is 女女 So the female teacher is 女老师女老师 This is very im important. Sometimes you go to the countryside, countryside washing rooms. They don't have the mark like the、oh, female or male. They only have the Chinese characters. 男 means the man. Okay, 女 means the Woman or the the female, you have to remember these two characters, and then second, the basic Chinese nouns you need to know is how to call the people. So in English you have sir, sir, right? In Chinese we have 先生先生
先生 means sir. Someone you don't know, you can you can just say, excuse me, 先生。不好意思,先生, like that, 先生. And then, if someone who uh, who is married is a like the English like a madam like that, so or Mrs like that, you can say tai tai, tai tai, tai tai. Only about someone who is married, of the female who is married, the lady who is married is tai tai. But if you are not sure is um is she married or or not. It's better to call her like the 女士, 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 okay? 女士 is someone you are not sure if she's married or, or not, okay? And about the age, it doesn't matter. Even if she, uh, even she's 20s or she's 40s, you can always call her 女士. It's kind of safe. And there's, uh, yeah, many, many books, there's a... Uh, uh, a name to call the young ladies, 小姐, but be careful in some area or in some cities in China. Uh, if you say 小姐, it's kind of like the not respect. Okay, you uh, when you use 小姐, it's better to put uh, put her family name before 小姐. For example, Miss Ni, 你小姐, 你小姐. So 小姐, it doesn't really just mean the miss. Also, it means something like not good meaning. Okay, so be careful. 你小姐, 你小姐. Mm. And also in China, we have like the province, city, town, village. 对, the team. <laughs> Where's the team? Okay, I'm going to explain now. So, 省 is the province. For example, 广东省, 广东省. Okay, it's a province. Guangdong. Guangdong is a province. And uh, Shi is a city. For example, Guangzhou Shi or Shanghai Shi. Shanghai city. Shanghai Shi. So we use like a Shanghai city. So the name and the city. Zhen. Zhen is the town. The town. So in some, uh, some cities, they don't have the Zhen. But some cities, they have Zhen. So Zhen is smaller than Shi. Zhen basically is smaller than Shi. Okay. So in Zhen, in the towns, there are many, many village. Village, we say Cun, 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 small village. And it depends. Maybe there's Da Cun, a big village, or Xiao Cun, a small village. Okay. But uh, either way, Cun, must be smaller than Zhen. Okay, Cun is smaller than Zhen. And then Cun, Cun is a village. So in this village, sometimes they will separate like a Dui, the team. So first team, second team. In one team, maybe they have like the uh, maybe five families or maybe more than that. So sometimes you, you will see Dui, something ba 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 Dui. But Dui, it's also are smaller than Cun. Remember, Shen is bigger than Shi. So province is bigger than the city, of course. And uh, Shi is bigger than Zhen. Zhen is bigger than Cun. Cun is bigger than Dui. Okay, Shen province. Shi city. Zhen town. Cun village. Dui the team. Okay, so we know that this uh, is more about like the, the system. Uh, in China, Shen Shi Zhen Cun Dui, because sometimes you cannot you can find the meaning of this, but maybe you don't know oh which is bigger, right? Okay, and next one is more about the Chinese culture. Uh you will see this character character a lot like Jie Jie Jie. So Guo Qing Jie, Chun Jie, Qing Ren Jie, something Jie. Maybe you can now read the Chinese character characters yet but maybe you will see this jie, jie a lot because all the time like the we try to celebrate the festival we will write the Chinese characters and uh, maybe the birthday card or maybe the Valentine's card right okay so jie here means festival 
for uh, in English sometimes you say like the something day like the uh, nation national day you don't say like the uh, national festival right but in Chinese all the time we say 节, something 节. so 国庆节, 国 means the country 庆, celebrate the country celebrates 节, festival it means the a uh, national day national day okay 春节, just last month spring festival is Chinese New Year 情人节, 情人 lover 节 festival <laughs> We even think like the Valentine's Festival, 情人节. So 情人节 means uh Valentine, uh Valentine's, not festival. But if you translate this directly, it means festival. So Valentine's Day, 情人节. 情人 means lover, lovers festival. That's 情人节. Mm. So uh, after you know this, it's easier for you to understand ah oh, if something with the jie here it must be a festival yes it is okay well chinese uh, plural is very easy when you see men when you see men after the people or after the personal pronoun it must be the uh, plural okay it must be the plural like lao shi men and it means teachers, 朋友们, friends, 我们, we, 他们, they, like that. But except, except the personal pronoun, sometimes the people, like the friend and friends, we can, uh, we can also uh, skip the men, like 朋友, if I only say 朋友, it can be friend or friends. Okay, it's a casual, uh, it's not as strict about here. Uh, it depends on the whole sentence. So 朋友 can be, can be singular or plural, but 朋友们 must be the plural, okay. Uh, because of this, so not all the things we can, uh, we can add an men or we need to add a men because except except the uh the personal pronoun uh with the men it's the um, plural basically the normal words we don't need to add men for example a pen you can just say yi zhi bi yi zhi bi quantifier here yi zhi bi some pens yi xie bi yi xie bi all we need to change is here. We cannot add add a s after this b. We cannot add men after b because b is not a a human being. So men can be only used uh human being and animals also. Dong wu men we can say that, but we don't really say that. Both okay. I mean language sometimes the rule. As a rule, basically, men is only can be only used after the people as the plural. But well, recently we think a uh, dog is our friends. It's like it's like our, our family. We can say go men. You can xiao go men. You can also say this because sometimes it's like the uh, the casual English we say this way, but like the formal English we say that way. Well. So just remember one thing, just remember something with men is plural and the men and generally it's after the, the people. And also uh, sometimes uh, if it's not the personal pronoun and uh, you can, you, uh, you don't really need to say men like the 朋友 can be singular or it can also be plural. Okay, both. Oh, it's kind of like the really, really confusing, right? But don't worry, it's easier. Just see there's men or there's no men. That's it. And the normal words, you don't need to add any men. All you need to change is just the number here. Okay. Well, if you have any other questions, you can leave your comments. I hope today's lesson is really useful for you. And uh, don't forget to leave your comments to let me know what you're, uh, 
how you feel about this kind of videos okay thank you for watching today i will see you next time bye bye